Oh my goodness, today is just so beautiful. I'm making the most of every single moment that the sun shines. Lottie. Lottie. Beautiful. Lottie. Over the other side of the fence, you may or may not know. Let's see if I can get up there and show you. There's just a nothingness. And often there's little animals or foxes or things over there and she can hear them. So she's often, often talking. Well, this is quite a nice view of the garden actually. See, this would be the view if we were up on our roof. If you saw my video of the April Fools, you'll know what I mean. Anyway, a little spring series of six videos of doing a very quick job every day to inspire you, hopefully, to get out in your garden in what I hope is a few days off that you might have from work during the Easter holidays. And we're focusing back on Shady Corner because my friend Linda Reinhardt, who lives in Parksville on Vancouver Island in Canada, suggested when I said I'd love some hostas, but the slugs get them, she thought, why don't you put them in raised pots? But I think they can climb admittedly. So I've got some raised pots, which are my bottomless pots, which let me turn the camera around and I'll show you what I'm thinking. These are the bottomless, bottomless pots, which I made last summer after the great idea from Julie Doubly. She suggested that. And I have one there with my rhododendron and I thought what I could do is dig out next to it, put this one, but I'll put it lower about this deep. And uh, I have another one as well over there which has got nothing in it. That's a little baby size. So I might do a little grouping of three of them and uh, try a hosta. I need to move this. This is a, a little dicentra a bleeding heart and that's just come back a perennial so I need to move that out of the way move that somewhere nearby because that is very pretty and I'm just going to put it here just a little bit further forward this is another very good plant for a shady area so that's that and I'll give that a water in at the moment and I'll just quickly dig out my holes I think we'll have one back here I want it quite deep yes I think I like that so that's where they're going and I need to fill them in. So I'm just going to tamp all these down, firm it all around the edges. Go and get my soil from the car and then we can plant them. So this beautiful one is called an undulata so that's very pretty that's that one and I've got a small one here which is called a Tardiana group Halcyon so we give them a go let's put those in as I say I don't want to do, put it in too deep because the soil does tend to sink in these bottomless pots I think that's going to be a nice pop of colour. There. Lovely. And then we've got this little one, which is the Hosta Tardiana Group Halcyon. Pretty. 
there's a little bird waiting. Oh, look, that little bird up there is waiting to come down. It's a robin. It's waiting to come down and dig in my new soil. So let's back up. But I love it. What do you think? A quick little fix. I think that's a nice pop of colour. Let's see if the slugs get those hostas. I hope not. Come on, bird, you can come now. Let's zoom in a bit. There he's waiting. What could be simpler? A couple of things in pots. And uh, I will see you tomorrow.